Buongiorno YouTube. Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, solo wild camping up on Dartmoor, midweek impromptu wild camp. Let's try out some of my new gear, isn't it? We've had some really cracking weather and uh, I haven't made it out yet since restrictions have been lifted. Have you heard restrictions have been lifted? Of course you have. You're inundated with wild camping videos at the moment. Here's another one for you. So, solo camping. I was gonna bring out the, the one tigress, but um, do you know what? I really just fancied using the Vic One again. I don't know what it is about that tent. I love it. I love that little tent. So, as it's a bit cold for the Vic One, I've also bought a bivvy bag to sort of put my sleeping bag in. But it's a new one. It's an extra large. So I'm going to try and fit everything in it. All stuff to do in it. New coat. Got my Osprey filled to the brim. 14 kilos. <laughs> I bought my lightweight stove, my lightweight sleeping bag, my lightweight roll mat, my lightweight tent and I'm carrying one of the heaviest bags I've ever carried. So I'm out at Sorton Tour tonight. I thought, get somewhere high, beautiful views, uh, close to the car, not because I'm scared, but because I ain't got a lot of time and I want to get sort of set up and enjoy the sunset. So I thought, I've never camped at Sorton either. Let's do that. So this bag might be 14 kilos, but but it's got this anti-gravity system. Oh, it's amazing. Literally these straps around my waist are that tight. They are like just literally sitting on my hips. There is no weight whatsoever on my shoulder. It's such a different experience. I actually feel like I'm quite strong for once. <laughs> I'm looking over there towards Yes Tour, High Relays, Black Tour. I'm thinking I want to camp with that view. So I might mosey on over to Shellstone Tour. You know, we're not far from the road, not far from the car, but you feel remote. So the trouble we're coming this way, I'm not gonna get the sunset, but the views across that valley are just worth it. I think better than looking across the open fields of Devon and Cornwall. This will feel more like moorland camping. Temperature's dropping off already. It's not as cold as it has been. Um, I think it's gonna get down to one degrees tonight, but it's so still. It makes a change, not a breath of wind. Hopefully, it'll stay like that through the night. Stone tour. Do you know it's funny I've been here three times now every time it feels like a different tour. Looks like plenty of pace to pitch around here. We we'll keep having a little look. Look at that. Beautiful. This is a view to wake up at isn't it? Look at that. So we look Black Tour, Black Tour Cops, Lint Tour, and the distance. 
back in the wild. <sighs> straight into my bivvy bag Tried that at home. Not quite worked. No, oh. Not quite get that in the feet. Right, well that didn't quite work. I was hoping it'd all go into my bivvy bag. This is an XL. It's an out kit. I'm sure it's called hunker, hanker, hunker, lunker, bunker, dunker. An out kit something. It's so thin and lightweight, breathable. I think it's supposed to be really good. I heard good reviews. So I thought I'd give one a try. So I think I might just have to put my sleeping bag inside that instead. I was hoping my, my roll mats would go inside and stop me slipping around all night. But to be honest, it's a one man tent. It's not a lot of room in there. Once I get my bag in, nothing's going to start rolling around anyway. Uh, do you like my coat as well? A regatta Imba 2. I wanted to try something different because the OEX doesn't breathe that well. I'm hoping this one is a bit more breathable. It's so lightweight. It feels really lightweight but it's windproof waterproof a little bit more expensive than the OEX still not really expensive but um look it's Isotech stretch 5000 tails me on my sleeveys it's only getting a bit nippy now can't find me woolly at it's all some shit out oh see what this is it's Trichology and Luft pillow. A nice little handbag to go with it. Oh, it's decent actually. It's a decent size, isn't it? One side, it's all lovely, soft, smooth. Mm. I'll rest my head against this. Have a nice sleep. All work, lovely, smooth. 
the other side. It's got all stickily, rubbery bits, nipples. So that's so that it doesn't move around, obviously. But then, the creme de la creme, it's got a strap. So you strap it over your UL80 and then it stops it rolling around. It doesn't slip out from you in the night. So that's great. It's a nice evening. It's nice and calm. It's a bit eerie here tonight. I don't know why. I'm a bit. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Telephone. Oh. But yeah, I've just all I've done is put me out on, made a coffee, and uh, the temperature dropped, but it seems to have settled so so yeah I'm quite happy to just be chilling here in amongst these rocks nice tea tonight is an extreme food which I bought from Alpkit when I bought the bivy bag so I've not tried this one before I picked up some dry foods because I'm loving using this little stove and I won't really be able to boil stuff in there so I've got some of these There's quite a, a variety but I'm hoping to get a few days in hiking on the southwest coast path at some point and camping so these will be perfect for that nice and light I don't want to be carrying 14 kilos though so I'm gonna to have to do something about my pack but let's have a look at this pasta bolognese again Mm. It's hot. To be honest, there's not a lot of flavour to it. I don't know if it's all stuck at the bottom, all the flavouring. Have a scratch about. No, it's quite bland. There really isn't any flavour to that at all. It does possibly contain a bit more meat than they usually do, but not much of a flavour. I'm going with this. I might have one more coffee and then get in the tent. It's about half past nine. There's been some weird noise out across the valley. God knows what it is. Sounds like an alien duck. That was it. Clearest yet. Yeah. I've got a bird app. I might try and see if it can pick it up. I doubt it. It's quite far away. Well, we're in the tent. I can't believe the evening we've had out there. It's been proper. It feels more like spring. Looking forward to seeing the uh, sunrise up over the top of that valley in the morning. I've eaten. I've had a coffee. I've urinated. Time to chill. Go to bed. Some good sleep last night. <laughs>
I think I was asleep by about 10 o'clock in the night. It did get cold at one point in the night. I think you just wake up and you think you're colder than you are though. But generally I was toasty, I think. I tell you that UL80, really comfy. And that's pillow. Nothing moved last night. It all stayed together. The sun is going to rise right over there, look. Super smashing grit. There's no condensation in the tent this morning. <sighs> Cold to touch, but it's not. wasn't condensated. Oh, I do. I love this little tent. But the perks of this one man, you know, I can fit my stuff in here nicely beside me, but it keeps me from sliding around. Such a comfy night's sleep. <coughs> Beautiful, isn't it? all that the cracks all up there that's where I walked up the other week when I come out for my first walk and I went up to black tour up there it looks horrible doesn't it and then walked down beside black tour cops Well, sun's up now. Think about packing up in a minute, but just enjoying myself here. Beautiful, these views across this valley. Camera doesn't do it justice. It does not need. Stay up. Another successful wild camp. All clear. Left no trace. One last look at these views. And then the trundle back. <laughs>